Hello coaches, my name is Charlie Coiner and I'm the owner of First Down Playbook. I'm also a 30-year coach, nine in the NFL and the rest in college. And uh, I'm going to take you through First Down Playbook today in about 30 minutes, maybe less, and show you everything about a First Down Playbook program account. And uh, it really starts over here, understanding these three buttons, understanding that what we offer is the ability to find over 35,000 plays all drawn by NFL coaches, offense, defense, special teams, and we also allow you to edit those plays. The second button here is we give you an area to where you can actually come in and organize all of your plays and your playbooks offensively, defensively, and special team wise. And then the third button right here is where you can go in and create a play from scratch. Now, before we get to the football part of it, I want to go over here to my account and I want to show you exactly how you can set up your staff and your team in a couple quick simple easy steps. When you get to this area right here what you'll do is you'll go to teams and you'll notice that there's a blue people button and a gray gear button right here. We'll go to the blue people button first. As you get to this page you'll see it's where you can put in your coaching staff or your players email address. Let us know what they are, coaching member or player send the invitation and when they respond to the invitation that's the way you begin to fill out your roster now the team profile is where the gray gear button would have taken you you'll also put in your high school your college your NFL team name right here let us know are you a high school college or an NFL program that way we can set the field background and then down here is where your roles and permissions can be adjusted for your coaching staff and for your players and we can help you along with this as you get going and we also have a very informative uh, how-to uh, video that can help you along with this. Now let's get to the football part of it. As I'm here on the First Down Playbook landing page and I go to our first button, Find a Play, what you will see is that we have the varsity offense, defense, and special teams at the top. This is primarily for your high school, college, and NFL coaches and our youth and flag down at the bottom. For the most part, you'll want to stay on the very top row right here. Now you'll also notice that we've got three buttons right above that. We've got where first down playbook plays is what you're looking at here. Team plays is an area where your plays will be stored as you come in and edit one of our plays or when you draw one of your, your plays from scratch. And then favorite plays is just an area where plays show up when you star them. Now let's go back and find some plays. As I get into the varsity offensive section and I open it up, you're going to see where we have organized everything offensively in a common sense way to where if you're a football coach, you can come in and find what you're looking for very quickly. Now, we'll start right here with formations. And what I've done is opened up several tabs above here to make this webinar go a lot faster. But formations is just an area where you can go find formations drawn up against fronts. When you get into here, you're going to see that we asked you a question, do you want to see them out of one back, two back, or empty? We're in the one back section right here, and you're going to see that we have multiple one back formations already set up for you. There are over 40 different formations we've already done for you in this area. We'll open up the two by two area right here, and what you're going to notice about this is that you've got a formation. This is a high school field behind it, in this case right here. It's on air, but you can also go up here and choose a defensive front or a defensive coverage, the whole defense, to fit up against that formation. This will help save you time as you come in to draw plays if you want to just start with the formation and with the defense. Now, let's go back and find other plays. Now, we're in the run game section right here. And in the run game section, what we've done is we, once again, have organized it in a football manner to where these are the common sense football concepts in the run game. For the sake of this webinar, we're going to go option. And when we open up option, once again, we ask you if you want to see this play out of empty, one back or two back. We'll go one back. And then you're going to see multiple formations, just like you did with the, for, with the uh, formation template. So we're going to go right now and open this up out of a flex bone. Now, as you go into each one of these areas, coaches, you're going to find anywhere from three, five, seven, nine plays. In this case, you're finding nine plays because obviously flexbone is a pretty common option formation. 
but you can see where you're looking at the plays before you ever open them up. But let's go in and open up this inside veer option. You'll see here that we've got the inside veer option drawn up against a 4-3 over. And once again, we have a drop down up here. This is the default view. And if you hit that default view, you're going to see we have this play already drawn up against eight different defenses, an over, an under, a 3-4, and a bear. Now we're just going to open up a 3-4 open, and you can see that we've already done the work for you here. Now you can flip that play, run it either way, left or right. You have coaching notes for all the players, player assignments, the whole bit over here to the right. Now you can edit the play, but you can also edit the coaching points. So let's go over here to options. You'll see where you can share that play, print that play. We're going to hit the edit button play right here. Ed edit button, excuse me. And when you do that, it's important for you to understand that this play is no longer in the first down playbook system. It's now going to be in your system. At this point, what you're probably going to want to do is come up here and name this play, whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to call it your play. And then whatever you do down here, whatever additions, subtractions, edits that you make to the play are now going to be yours. So we'll just crack the safety right here. Now, we'll save this play and it'll be saved over into your team play area. But I want to make a point while I'm here that here in a uh, hypothetical situation here where you're working as a flex bone offense running the inside veer option and you're getting ready for your offensive install your playbooks your meetings however you choose to install your offense but before you leave this area you also can come in when you're in the edit mode you can flip the play horizontally but you can also flip it vertically in other words you could come in after you create your play and your install and Come right back and flip that play, put in your opponent's numbers, however you want to do it, identify the people that you definitely need to get blocked that week, and now what you're doing is you're creating your scout team card at the same time that you're creating your installations, saving you a lot of time uh, in things that you're going to be doing each and every week during the football season. So we'll flip this back, save it one more time to make sure it's in our team play area. So now where we'll go, we'll go back to the uh, varsity offense in the passing game area. And you can see where, once again, we've got it organized uh, very similarly to what we would do in the NFL, just organizing it. We've got drop back, play action, sprint pass, boots and nakeds, all organized right here. So let's go in and open up one of these areas. We'll open up drop back. You will see we asked you the same question. You want to see drop back passes out of empty, one back or two back. We'll go one back once again. And this time we'll choose two by two, very common drop back formation for passes. As you can see, you've got page after page of two by two drop back passes. And we'll open up one of them here. You're going to see that you've got a well drawn play on a high school field. And you can flip the play as usual. You've got coaching notes and quarterback reads. We call them suggested quarterback reads because we don't know how good your tight end or your slot is, but we'll give you some type of middle field open, close read, or progression read that will be helpful to get you started with the play. And then once again, you can take it and edit the play and also edit the coaching notes and the quarterback reads if you want to. Okay, now let's go to the rest of the offense over here. You can see that Actually, we'll go back to the passing game again. And you can see that we've also got areas, if you want to find plays by concept, you can come in and you can see just commonsensical concepts. Each one of these has multiple plays in it. If you want to find plays by high-low, if you want to find it by mirrored crossing routes, they're all right in this area right here. Now, you can also find plays in the red zone, we go through the same process with the red zone, ask you what part of the red zone do you want to find plays, and then once you get to the area that you want, we ask you do you want to find the empty, one back or two back, we'll go three by one gun in this case right here, and once again, what you'll see is 
five plays drawn up in that specific area of the red zone out of that specific formation with quarterback reads, and they're drawn up on a red zone field. Now, let's go to the other parts of the uh, offense. We also have a coverage beater section where we have passing game plays that are drawn up to beat specific coverages. We also have a route tree area. This is where we break our route trees down by individual position, outside receiver slot, tight end, and running back. And what you'll see as this opens up is that we have a zero through nine explanation for every route in our tree for that position. The rest of the varsity offense is every bit as detailed as the run game and passing game. We have a protections area that's drawn up exactly like the run game. Short yardage and goal line with a lot of heavy and unbalanced information in there. Screens that are drawn up just like the protections in the run game, meaning that we've got all 22 players against different fronts with your offensive line getting out. An extensive RPO section, as you would imagine. Uh, over the past couple years, we've been adding more and more to that. We've got a six eight and nine man football area right here that we've been working on this off season. And I want to take you into the specials area here for a second to show you a, a couple different things. When you get into the specials area, you see that we're partners with Friday night football and also USA football. And uh, this is where our trick pass plays and trick run plays live. But the reason I brought you in here is I want to take you to this all 22 Tuesday section. Now, we've been doing this for several years. In the year 2019, this past season, what we did is we went in and drew up four plays each week from NFL and major college football. Now, I want to take you in and just show you one of our weeks. I'm going to go in and open up two offensive plays from week 14. You can see where we have a LSU play and an Alabama play. I want to open up this Alabama wheel route for a touchdown. And you can see where we've got all 22 players drawn up, their numbers and what everything uh, occurred after the ball was snapped. Now, I brought you in here because I want to take you over here and show you, you know, you can flip that play just like you can our others. But when you go to the coaching notes, you're going to see where we've got uh, coaching points, really just bullet points of what happened in that play. But we also have a video here. Now, we always get the question about first down playbook and video. We built first down playbook, which is a half million dollar drawing tool to where we are able to integrate with video from any company right now. We can integrate with Huddle, DV Sport, Exos, whoever. We don't have any type of agreement with them yet, and uh, we're not going to do that uh, without an agreement because what would happen is they would go in, probably reverse engineer their code the next day and screw everybody up, including you and, and all the coaches out there. We don't want to do that. Right now what we have is we have the ability to embed YouTube videos in here, we have created an integration system to where, once again, we can go further with this down the road, and we expect that we will. We're already talking to a couple companies about doing this. Now, while I have you in here, though, I just want to show you that there are a lot of coaches that are taking first down playbook play drawings, and they're going over here, and they're downloading that play drawing to their desktop, to a folder, or whatever, and they are dropping them into Huddle so that they can have the best of both worlds. They can have a good play drawing from First Down Playbook and also have the uh, ability to have a huddle video. So keep that in mind. If you've got more questions about this, please let us know because we, uh, once again, we understand your needs and we understand that the idea is to be able to teach your players the best way possible. And that's, that will be to have the play drawing, the video, and your coaching points all in one area. Okay, so let's move on. The defensive area may be every bit as extensive and uh, detailed as the offensive area. Just at times, it doesn't seem as uh, sexy, but uh, every bit as important. You can see right here where we've got the defensive uh, fronts broken up by an over and under, a 3-4 strong, a 3-4 weak, and a bear. Now, there are a lot of different ways to call defenses. It's a 4-2-5, a 3-3-5, a 3-2-6, you know, and, and, and all of that. But at the end of the day, you pretty much are going to have a four-down front, a three-down front, our goal with First Down Playbook is to get you to something close to where you don't have to draw it from scratch. 
So let's go in and open up a 4-3 over front. And you can see the next question we asked you is what coverage do you want to play behind it? Man free, too high, strong roll zone, quarters or quarter quarter halves? We'll go with quarters. Now we asked you the question, okay, what formation do you want to defend? And once again, you can see where we've got it broken down into subcategories. We'll go one back because that'll be the formation that has the most formations in it. So you can see where we've got a 4-3 over with quarters coverage behind it, fitted up against all these different formations. Once again, just saving you a ton of time all right, before you ever get started with your play drawings. So let's go in. We'll get this one opened up right here against Bunch. And once you get into here, it's the same as the offense. Now I can flip that defense. I've got coaching points, player assignments for everybody on the field defensively. Now I'll come in, I'll go to options. Let's edit this defense. So once again, you'll see where now I have the ability to adjust. We'll just bring this Sam off the edge here. Zone drop out this end. Just to do something to our play right here. Now we'll save this play. Now it'll be saved over in your team play area, just like your offensive play was. Now as we exit it out of that, and we come down, you'll see that we also, just like offense, we have short yards and goal line. We have a spread beater section where we visited with SEC coaches a few years back about how they were defending spread offenses. Uh, we also have a pressure section. When you open the pressure section up, we ask you the same questions. Do you want to see this out of base personnel or sub personnel? Do you want to see it out of a four-man front or 30 front? Do you want to play man pressure, man coverage behind it, or zone? Now, as we get to this part, you'll see where we have each one of these pressures drawn up. Now, we have over 57 different pressures in this area. So let's just open up this one right here. And you can see where we don't draw it up against just one formation. We've got this drawn up against five different formations right here. We'll open up two by two. You can see when you get to this part of it, we have it not only drawn up against the formation, we also give you motion and tight end trade adjustments, just suggestions on how you might want to play this pressure package as you get into the details of installing it. Now the most detailed thing about First Down Playbook could be the special teams area. And you can see we've got eight different phases because we've got spread punt. We also have shield punt because we have NFL coaches with the spread punt part of it. And we also have to defend spread punt and shield punt. So what we'll do is we'll go down here and we'll open up up here, I should say, open up the kickoff return section. And you can see where we've got it broken up into five up returns, six up returns, a trick play area, and a technique area. All right, so let's open up the six up return area right here. And what you're going to see is that we've got well-drawn plays drawn up on a long field, on a field that has the end zone, the proper number spacing, and the hash mark spacing. Because this is very important when you're doing big field plays that you're able to teach all right, on a field because all these landmarks come into play as you're coaching. Let's open up one of the plays. We'll open up a six-up middle bounce right here. Now you're going to see, and I'm going to shrink my screen up here where you can actually see the whole play. You can see you've got a well-drawn play, drawn up in color, once again, with the proper landmarks and spacing. You've got the ability to come in and put your players' numbers in, your opponents' numbers in, your scout team numbers. You can come up here and you can flip it, run it left or right. And then, just like with the offense and the defense, you've got coaching points for the right return and for the left return. Once again, you can edit any of this as well as the play. Now, we also have... And I just want to make, get my screen back up to full speed here, full size. We also have a technique section with every area in our special teams. And so if you're in the uh, kickoff return section, for instance, then maybe you're, we're talking about a look-off technique. Uh, and you say, I've never heard that before. So it's just a brief explanation uh, that you can come in and get that. You can also edit these sections as well and change them to fit your teaching. Okay, so let's go over to the team playbook area which is where you're going to organize your plays that you have edited of ours or that you've drawn from scratch. The first thing I would do is I would come in if I were you and create an offense, defense, and a special teams playbook area. The reason I would do that is because this is going to help you stay organized, and it's not only going to help you do that, it's going to also help keep your offense, defense, and special teams coaches out of each other's way. 
Let me show you what I mean by that. These three dots or buttons here at the bottom of anything you create in our playbook area are extremely important. What they do is they give you the ability to not only share, print, rename, and delete, they give you the ability to come in and manage permissions at a more micro level than it was at the beginning when I showed you. So what I mean by that, this offensive playbook will ask you, who do you want to see that playbook? Only you, only your coaching staff, only the players, everyone, or specific people. When you hit specific people right there, you could come in and in this case right here, you would choose your offensive coaches and your offensive players, confirm that, and now once again, what you're doing is you're keeping everybody organized and out of each other's way where you don't have the defensive line coach over here drawing a text stunt right next to where your quarterback coach is drawing four verticals. So let's go into the offensive playbook area and look and see some ways that people use first down playbook in 2019. Now, one of the ways that they did it is they came in and they created position coach area for each and every position coach on that side of the ball. So really what you're doing here is the same thing you were doing is separating your offense and defense. Now you've got an area for your quarterback coach, running back coach, tight end, offensive line, receivers. Once again, who talks to who? You control all that with these three buttons right here. Maybe you want your quarterback coach to talk just to the quarterbacks. Maybe you want him to be able to communicate with the receiver coach and receivers. You control all of that right here in the first down playbook playbook area. All right, now let's go over here and open up the offensive line coaches section to show you how you can organize it with your players. So as you can see in here, this offensive line coach has got his normal nine on seven run game protections and all of that. But he also has an area right here where he has created a playbook area for his offensive line. When you open that up, you'll see that he has an individual playbook for each lineman. And you might say, why would he do that instead of just have one playbook to where all the linemen could come in and look at the same thing? The reason is that as you get to the middle, towards the end of the week, you can come in with first down playbook and actually create a test for John Johnson, the left guard, Dave Williams, the center, 72, Kevin Sinclair, uh, Sinclair, excuse me, the right tackle. That way, it gives you the ability to test and have the players come in and actually draw in their assignments and the position coach can know what's going on almost in real time, all right, just by following right from where he is living or his desk at, at the office with the players uh, on a Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday before the game. Now, this April 2nd install area up here is something we've been working with over the past three months, helping coaches right from their homes using these three dots right here, install from their homes to their players' homes as we've been going through the pandemic for the last two or three months. If you're interested in how all this works, please ask us at the end of this webinar, or we can talk about it next week or the next two weeks during your free trial. Let's go back to the team playbook area. Another way coaches used it in 2019 was to come in and actually set up the whole season or the first four weeks of their game plans. You can see right here, we're week one through week four. What you're doing is you're just going through, dragging and dropping from one to two, two to three, saving all of your work. Coaches, we repeat too much of our work instead of saving it and going back and reusing it. And this is going to help you stay extremely organized. And it's not only in the current year. What you can do at the end of the year, you can come in here and archive it, save it down here, and maybe you're playing Washington High in 2020 and you, play, you played them in 2019 as well. It just gives you the ability, if you need it, you can go back and find it. But we need to stay organized so that we won't uh, keep recreating the wheel all right, every day, every week, every month, and every year that we coach. Let's go back again and look at a couple other ways that you can use the first down playbook section. You can see where coaches have just come in and organized it, and you can organize it any way you want to, coaches, but by base runs, passing game, short yardage, goal line, coming out in four minutes. Now, let's go back to the playbook area. I know a lot of you on here are head coaches, and so I just want to make the point that you can add your feeder programs, uh, regardless of how many you have, when you have a first down playbook program account. This allows you to write from your desk to share a portion of your offense, defense, and special teams with your feeder coaches. And what you do is you actually make it harder for your feeder coaches to do something different than what you do than to actually do what you do because you've done all the work. 
and it's very easy right from your desk you could include them and, and actually organize what you want them to see and what you don't want them to see with the three buttons right here but this is a big time advantage guys you've got uh, players coming into your building as 10th 11th 12th graders not only using your terminology but they've also already been using the same drawings that your varsity has because you actually drew them and shared them with your feeder coaches. Now let's go in here and take a look at the defensive practice card section for a moment. What you'll see when you get here is you'll see that we've got essentially 10 to 12 defenses loaded up here for a scout team. And at this point, what you would do is you would drag and drop, get your scout team cards in the right area, come up here to print. Once you get to this area, you'll want to go landscape and you won't need the coaching points on the field. You'll launch print dialog. And what you immediately will see is that we've got a table of contents up here that will soon become a smart script as we know it as coaches. Third and three left hash minus 33 yard line. And then you can see where there'll be a coordination between the title of the play and the number in the upper left hand corner. And you have well drawn cards that you can take to the field either on the device or by printing them out. Either way is fine. What's important is that these cards will be something that you'll save where you don't have to keep going in and recreating your work. Now, let's go to where we're going to make a play from scratch. All right. I'm going to come in and I'm going to name it my play from scratch. First Down Playbook is a half a million dollar drawing tool, all right, that's designed just for football coaches. So anything in here, guys, we're going to ask you is going to be a football question. Do you want it on a short field, blank canvas, is it a drill, midfield, red zone going in, back up coming out, is it a long field for a special team, blank canvas, punt, punt, return, kickoff going in, kickoff return coming out. We'll choose a short field, midfield, for the sake of this play right here. We'll save and make a play. And now what you're going to see is we've got a high school field out there. And what we're going to do is add a line of scrimmage and just start adding players. You're going to see just how much easier First Down Playbook is to use to draw than what you're currently using. So you can see we've got the line of scrimmage. All right. I know I've got too many players out there. We'll get that resolved here in a second. But as I'm getting my players lined up, you'll notice I'm not only using that blue line, I'm also using a green line that aligns all of my players with, with the other players on the field. I'll get rid of this one. We'll make this one right here a defensive player. Now, we'll get rid of the line of scrimmage. As I go through and use this, once again, you're just going to see where everything about this is designed for a football coach. The first thing is, as I go through, I can come in and I can label my players 1 to 99. I can label them A to Z, Z to A, any combination. If I want the label to be black or white, if I'm going to let it be white, then I need to put color behind the players. So this shows up, right? I've got the ability to take my defensive players. If I run the option, I can come in, have a pitch key, read key, all the different things that you use in football. I have shades built in for a three technique, a two, a two eye. If I want my players to be thicker, they can be thicker. If I want them to be thinner, they can be thinner. Really, coaches just leaving it up to you. Some of it's cosmetic, but all the things that you end up using as you're drawing a play. Now, you can change different colors for different players. When you're drawing a line with First Down Playbook, you choose a player, and then you choose a line, choose a straight line in this case right here, 
you'll notice that it automatically attached to the player. Okay, now we do that for you so you don't have to worry about trying to embed it into the player or get it close and all that. When you do that, you're also going to notice you've got 360 degree range of motion. That's with the straight line and then also with a curved line. 360 degree range of motion with the endpoint and the connector. Just gives you the ability to draw faster, better, and easier. And you're also drawing something, guys, that or coaches that your players are going to want to look at. Okay, now, lines never intersect. So as we bring this tight end, you can see right now the receiver is going first. If I want the uh, tight end to go first, I can do it right up here. Now, everybody wants to show you their drawing tool and draw pass plays. It's when the offensive line coach gets in here and, and the defensive line coach and linebacker are drawing the run game stuff up that it gets very tedious. So we've not only given you an arrow, but we've also given you a ball, a base block, a reach block, and a cutoff block. And then if I add an extension to that, I still have that same 360 degree range of motion. So if I'm trying to cut off a two eye here, I have the ability to do that. And I'm not even using the curve functionality right there. If I want to draw a pass set against a wide three technique, or maybe even a four eye, and I want him to keep his shoulder square, I have the ability to do that. It's just designed to help you get drawn what you need to get drawn much easier than it has been in the past. Okay, now most, most coaches want to put some type of text right on their drawings. So you go up here to text, you put in what you want, you add the text, move it wherever, you can go small, medium, large, bold, italics, Underline, whatever color you want it to be, and whatever background you want it to be. All right now, the coaching notes are over here. If I want to, this is a play drawn from scratch, so there are no coaching notes in here. So if I go to add a section, down here you can see where I've got the option to go three quarter screen for my play drawing, one quarter for notes. I can go full screen for my notes, or I can go half screen, which is the one I like, where I'm looking at half my drawing over here and half over here for my notes. So I'll just click on the coaching points, notes area. Start typing. And now when I save this play, it's saved in my team play area, just like the plays where I edited them, edited them earlier are. So now when I get back over here, I've got all my first down playbook plays. I'll go up to the team play area. And now you're going to see that in this team play area, you've got some of the plays that we have already created today, all right, over the past 20 or 30 minutes. Now, let's finish this thing up right here and go to how do I get these plays in my team play area in my team playbook area. So let's go to team playbooks. All right, we'll go down. We'll just... Create a new playbook, call it my new playbook. I'll add it. It'll show up down here at the bottom. Now I'm gonna open that playbook up, and now I can add subfolders, sub playbooks. I can create as many different levels as I want. I'm gonna go to add a play. And now instead of adding first down playbook plays, I'll go up here to team plays. And now what I'll do is I'll just add the plays that we been working on today and now when I go back over to my team playbook area that's where they are and at some point coaches this is where you're going to spend the majority of your time you'll spend it in the team playbook area uh, going over to manage playbooks uh, duplicating plays editing plays making plays off of plays you'll always have the ability to use first down playbook plays but at the same time, we understand that for the most part, we're handing the chalk back to you and allowing you to use this brand new draw and edit tool 
and create most of your stuff over here. So that's a good overview for the First Down Playbook uh, program account. If you have other questions, we can talk about it here in a little bit. And you can always find help up here in the help section, which is extremely uh, extensive. Thank you very much for your time today and uh, enjoy First Down Playbook.